Top 7 Best Panasonic Cameras 2023 Through extensive research and testing, I have put together the list of options that will meet the need of different types of buyers. So whether it's price, performance, or particular use, we have got you covered. For more information, I have put links of products in the description. Make sure to check it out. Like the video, comment, don't forget to subscribe, and let's get started. Number 7. Panasonic Lumix GH5II the long-awaited follow-up to the beloved GH5, the Panasonic Lumix GH5II, is, like its predecessor, a flexible all-rounder with plenty for both videographers and photographers to like. It leans more to the video side, with its wide range of codecs, frame rates, resolutions, and more to choose from making it a pro-level choice, even if the launch of the GA6 a few months later has taken the shine off somewhat. We think most filmmakers would be better off spending a little extra to get the more powerful GA6, but beyond the obvious greater affordability, the GH5 Kaya does have a couple of advantages over its big brother. It supports video live streaming, and it's around 100 grams lighter. That makes it a good choice as a vlogging camera. It's 6.5 stop 5 axis IBIS, full size HDMI, very angle screen and ability to run via USB-C power delivery are appealing in this regard too. And content creators will also welcome its photography skills, including 6K slash 4K photo, when making thumbnails and other still images. If the GH5 Hayuli has weaknesses, it's that it uses a contrast detection autofocus system rather than a more advanced hybrid setup, not a deal breaker by any means and that its limited ISO range means it's not a fantastic performer in low light conditions. Number 6. Panasonic Lumix B100 The Panasonic Lumix B100 is currently the cheapest mirrorless model in the company's entire range, aimed chiefly at younger photographers and vloggers upgrading from smartphones into dedicated camera gear. It's small and lightweight, just 345 grams without a lens but still finds room to include an electronic viewfinder which, with a 3.68 meters dot equivalent resolution, is truly impressive in a camera at this price point. Despite its small size, we found the G100 easy to handle and use, with a large grip on the front and thumb rest at the rear. Buttons and dials are thoughtfully located, while the rear screen can be tilted and flipped to face forward, making the camera ideal for vlogging and selfies. The G100 can record 4K footage at up to 30 eps and stabilize it too, although it does this electronically rather than optically, and that results in a severe 1.8x crop when shooting 4K 4K clips are also limited to 10 minutes in length. But if you can work around these limits, you'll find this to be a solid all-rounder at a really competitive price. Number 5. Panasonic Lumix G90 slash G95 a slightly scaled-down version of the premium, Stills Focus G9, the Panasonic Lumix D90 is a mid-range micro four-thirds model that delivers solid performance across both photo and video. It's a rugged, weatherproof camera with a DSLR-style shape and comfy handling, and features include IBES that adds up to five stops of compensation when shooting handheld, whether the lens you're using has its own stabilization or not able to record 4K video at up to 30 eps, and output 8-bit 4 to 2 2 video to an external recorder via micro HDMI, and equipped with a touchscreen that can be flipped and twisted to face fully forwards, it's clear that the G90 has been made with vloggers in mind, while shifting resolution down to full HD allows for 120 eps recording and slow motion playback. Image quality is solid across the board. Note. At the time of writing new G90, it appear to be in very limited supply, suggesting it's about to be discontinued. It's still available used or refurbished, of course, but do bear in mind that it's one of the older models here if you're considering purchasing one. Number 4. Panasonic Lumix GX9 While most of Panasonic's mirrorless models get their design cues from Desors, the company also does a small line of rangefinder-style camera bodies. The Panasonic Lumix GX9 is one of these, with a flatter, slimmer profile, no large hand grip, and no central bump to house its EVF and hot shoe. Instead, there's a tiny bump for the user's right hand to wrap around, and the hot shoe and viewfinder are incorporated right into the main body. The viewfinder and screen do tilt, though, 
giving them a welcome extra measure of flexibility, and there's room for IBIS, which is impressive in such a compact body. The small size and quiet operation makes this a good model for street photography. The cramp design does cause some handling issues and the default control layout is awkward and poorly thought out. Users can customize controls to ameliorate this somewhat, but Panasonic should be doing better. The 16 to 9 ratio viewfinder is another odd touch. It suits video shooting well, but wastes lots of space when it comes to still photography. Number 3. Panasonic Lumix TZ100 EZS100. Deservedly, the Panasonic Lumix TZ cameras, or Lumix ES if you're in the US, are some of the most popular travel zooms around. While the Lumix TZ100 is not the biggest, flashiest, or newest, we reckon its combination of intuitive controls, a big zoom range, a pocketable body, and a friendly price tag, even more so since release, make it the best choice for most users. Covering a huge zoom range from a wide 25mm to a considerably telephoto 250mm, the Lumix TZ100 can shoot pretty much anything. What's more, its 1-inch sensor, an upgrade from previous TZ cameras, means you'll notice a tangible difference in image quality compared to your smartphone. Just be aware that the lens aperture of f 28 to 5.9 is pretty modest meaning you might sometimes struggle to get sharp shots when the light goes low. Though the hybrid 5-axis optical-slash-electronic image stabilization does help somewhat in this department, as we noted in our full review of the camera back when it was released. The future of compact cameras is uncertain, and we may not get many, or any, more TZ cameras after the latest TZ200, which adds a longer zoom than the TZ100, at the cost of an even narrower maximum aperture. Still, as long as the Lumix TZ100 is still available, new or used, we'll keep recommending it to anyone who's looking for a well-made travel zoom camera. Number 2. Panasonic Lumix S5 Panasonic is still a relative newcomer to the full-frame game, with its L-mount range only arriving in 2019. Of the handful of L-mount cameras we've reviewed thus far, the Panasonic Lumix S5 has the most overall appeal and that's mostly down to its relatively compact, lightweight size and excellent DSLR-style handling, which comes without a significant impact on performance or features. In fact, autofocus feels snappier here than on the S1 and S1 R, despite the general image quality being on a par with the much larger S1. The S5 comes with IBS to stabilize any attached lens, a rugged and weather-sealed magnesium alloy build, and a wide range of options for videographers, including HDR, V-Log, and S, and Q, slow and quick recording, raw output, and the ability to use anamorphic lenses, and, with Panasonic's adapter, pro-level microphones. That you get all this in a body that's compact and lightweight feels like the S5 is Panasonic properly finding its full-frame feet, and hopefully a taste of even better things to come in the range. Number 1. Panasonic Lumix S1R Along with the S1, the Panasonic Lumix S1R was the vanguard of Panasonic's 2019 arrival in the full-frame mirrorless market. A few years on, this large and bulky camera, which offers almost no size or weight advantage over a full-frame DSLR, is less likable than the newer, cheaper, more compact S5. But it does have one major advantage. Its high-resolution sensor, with a pixel count of 8368x5584. This, of course, captures beautifully sharp images at its 47.3 MP native resolution, but via clever stitching can also create truly stunning 187 MP shots. The S1R is less video-centric than either the S5 or S1, but can record 4K at up to 60 eps too. In terms of design, it's every bit the premium enthusiast's camera it sets out to be. The body is rugged and weather-sealed, and the 5.76 million dot electronic viewfinder may well be the sharpest and punchiest of any current camera on the market. The IBIS is effective, the autofocus less so, feeling particularly hesitant in low light. So guys, that's all for Top 7 Best Panasonic Cameras 2023. The links of all products are given in the description which are updated for the best prices. Subscribe our channel for more videos. We will meet in next video. Till then take care. Bye.